Everything has an energy cost you know, and transaction fee, if you want to call it that, for lack of a better ex explanation. You can convert matter to energy, energy to matter. You can do things like that. But as far as like the idea of having the infinite energy source, that's 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 Star Trek, dude. That's that's Stargate. That's uh, that's that's Fallout. That's that's TV, dude. That's fiction. That's because. Um, the people who write those those shows, okay, these fictional shows, have to come up with a workaround to explain away how it is that everybody has infinite everything, because most writers, true story, you know, live in this little this virtual world in their mind, and have to get a they have to find a way to get around it so that they can convey the story to you so that you're not stuck on on the how does that supposed to work right so they they come up with a solution that just oh well it's it's this uh this module that creates energy and it's just it's infinite that is not a thing and it will probably never be a thing because in if you understand the physical limitations on the planet on which you find yourself okay there's limitations here and energy is one of them right everything is going to take energy and even you know like this is it's it's, it's for example it's like how you survive right On, only 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 death pays for life not to invoke george martin on this one but it's 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 the it's the truth right i mean whether you're eating dandelion leaves you know or or a cow you are still eating something you are consuming life so that you can stay alive there's an entire Rick and Morty episode about this. Um, it's pretty fucking clear. <laughs> it's, I don't think you could make it more clear. Um, yeah, I mean, like that's that's physics. Okay, that's that's like basic on Earth physics. So when I'm using the term physics, I'm talking about on fucking Earth. Okay, not theoretical physics. We're talking about the actual hard science of it. <clears throat> so when when I see this video of of, of Elon talking about the robots are going to do everything and you're going to have universal basic high income so that you can do whatever you want and the robots will do everything for you. No. No. As a repair technician, I'm telling you, that's not going to happen. As someone who repairs shit, I, I repair automated stuff and I, I, I can tell you, um, no. That's not going to happen. You're, you're going to have to pay somebody sometime to go out and fix something. And um, yeah, that's that's just that's reality. Um, this is a a trick that I think that what the bankers and the people who have caused a lot of problems in this world are attempting to do now is they're trying to find a way to unwind this um, without having a complete and total collapse, you know, which is what it should do. Okay. Um, now you could say like, well, but that's good if we can unwind this gently and so on. Like, yeah, okay, but you don't do that by being dishonest with people. Um, it's just like, uh, what was it, uh, Koala Harris, you know, she comes out and talks about like, uh, you know, nobody should be going to jail for, you know, for smoking the herbage. Like, really? Why would you have made a statement like that? What you should have done first was came out and first of all apologized for prosecuting thousands of people for that exact thing and said, hey, I was totally wrong, and uh, we need to stop doing that as a civilization. We should probably stop doing that, because it's actually, not only is it goddamn expensive, it, there, is, there is really no reason to keep doing that. That's what she should have done, rather than come out and try and do some kind of photo op, you know, soundbite bullshit. Yeah, it just, it's just how you talk to people, you know, if you're, if you're actually talking, talking to someone as opposed to talking, talking at them. Hmm? So, no, this idea that the, the you know that uh, you're going to have this this universal income that's going to be like this is just a ploy to try and cover up all of their inflate the inevitable inflation that they have caused. Um, when you figure how many countries have done this, it isn't just 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 the U.S. Let's talk geopolitically for a second here. Let's just talk about the entire world. Japan is in the news today, right? I mean, they, they don't even. They're in, they are in such debt that there is no possible way to come out of that. There's just no way. They're even they're importing cheap labor to try and prop it up, and it ain't going to work. Just like it's not going to work in the U.S. 
okay? You can only import it for so long. And if, of course, and of course my question always comes up like, okay, if you're gonna automate all this stuff, then why are you importing all this cheap labor? Why wouldn't you just automate all those jobs that, that, that everybody out there on the right, for whatever reason, I, I'm just I'm starting to question whether you guys are just in on the scam, which is what I think most of you are. I mean, I'm talking about the mega accounts. I'm not talking about you know somebody who just happens to be a conservative. I'm talking about you know, the big accounts out there. Like you guys are shills. That's what you're sounding like. Um, if I'm being completely blunt with you, I, that's that's what you sound like. You sound like a bunch of fucking shills. Because like, oh, how is that supposed to work? You you want to import a bunch of cheap labor, but but we're all going to automate this stuff. So, yeah, why wouldn't you have why wouldn't you have, have automated those jobs first? Mining is inter is, is incredibly dangerous for human life. Not not just not just the danger of doing the job, but the aftermath of mining, what it does to your lungs, right? Why wouldn't you automate that first? Of of all jobs, why wouldn't you automate that job first as opposed to trying to automate burger flipping? That seems like kind of a you know, like, well, but, but we need to have, no, no, what happens is, is that the fran somebody, a franchise owner, somebody who wants to franchise a restaurant or a gimmick, usually is what it is, um, wants to get investors money. That's all they give a shit about. So they invent a bunch of crazy shit for somebody to invest in that isn't going to actually work. <laughs> this is just reality. Most of this stuff won't work on a long-term commercial basis, but it manages to get investors to... To, to give you a bunch of money. And so the other problem, of course, is is that who owns any of this stuff? Because somebody's going to own it, right? It's not like, well, no, no one's going to own it. No, that's not how that works. Just because you don't own it doesn't mean that somebody doesn't own it. So who? what about the people who want to own farms and not partake in any of this? This is that zeitgeist thing, okay? I remember this movie, a zeitgeist movie. It was like three hours long. It was a fucking long ass movie. The first hour and a half of this movie is dead on. The dude nails the problem. The problem, yeah, I mean, dude new nails it. Nails the problem. The last hour and a half is basically let's have marxism with robots. That's the solution is. The solution is I watched a bunch of science fiction movies and read a few Philip K Dick books and so now we're going to try this even though it doesn't fucking work and you guys missed the point of a lot of science fiction movies and books, which was to tell a story that you were supposed to learn the moral of the story, not focus on, oh, cool, flip phones. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, boring conversation here, but I just had to say something about this because you gotta be fucking kidding me. I, I, I'm surprised at how many people are gonna fall for this. That's what's even weirder about this. How many people are going to fall for this, this, this hype, this idea that the robots are going to do everything for you? Um, no, dude, no. 